As a Nearpod district administrator, you will have access to managing the school libraries in your district as well as your district library. When I click on school libraries in the left toolbar, you'll notice I have folders in here. I also have them color coded. As the administrator, you can click on this add to library button and you can add folders. You can add folders within those folders or you can click find lessons and add lessons individually as you see down here. Additionally, if I click on this little blue button with the three dots, I can adjust my school library settings. This will allow me to change the name of this library. It'll also allow me to enable or disable teachers adding lessons into the school library. And if you have assigned any school admins in your district and have them organize their individual school libraries, you're able to switch between the various school libraries to better understand what content is in there, or if you'd like to edit any of those libraries, you can certainly do so. The district library is a common repository of lessons that all teachers will have access to. Here you'll notice that there's, again, a lot of folders. You can organize these folders by subject area, by grade level. You can add subfolders within a folder and color code your folders. Again, here I can click Add Library, I can find lessons, I can add a new subfolder. And if I click on the gear next to District Library, this will allow me to rename my District Library and again, enable or disable adding lessons to the District Library.